Hi everyone, welcome to another specialist quiz here on the Virtual Pub Quiz channel. My name's Jay and I'm the host of the Specialist Quizzes and the Thursday and Saturday night live quizzes. So thanks very much for joining us uh, for today's specialist. Uh, it's all about UK TV sitcoms today. Um, so we've got UK TV sitcoms today and Sunday specialist quiz will be based around those uh, US imports that we love sitcoms there. Um, normally the specialist quizzes are 10 questions unless we're doing something a bit different and I thought 10 questions is probably it's not enough really is it uh, so we've got I've got 20 questions for you today and I'm going to take you through sitcoms in in Britain from the 70s 80s 90s all the way through to 2000s and today so that's why I've gone with 20 questions should be something in there for everyone some of them are a bit tricky some of them are probably relatively easy you'll pick out straight away and go oh, I know exactly what that is but that's what questions are all about they're always a bit of a challenge so let's do that let's get my questions on screen uh, you know what to do by now. If you are new, just grab a pen and paper and we'll go through the questions. I'll give pause the video. You can, sorry, you'll be able to pause the video and go through your answers. So let's get into them then. 20 questions. We start with the 70s and the 80s with this. Number one. Starring Penelope Keith and Felicity Kendall. Uh, name the TV, sh uh, the TV sitcom that ran for three years between 1975 and 1978. So starring Penelope Keith and Felicity Kendall, the name the TV sitcom that ran for three years between 1975 and 1978. Now I've left myself a note on question two and my, my uh, impression will be absolutely shockingly poor, but ooh, Betty. Um, so ooh, Betty was a catchphrase in which 70s sitcom, I don't do impressions. Uh, so, Ooh Betty was a catchphrase in which 70s sitcom. I don't do accents either. Uh, number three, what was the name of Ronnie Barker's character in Porridge? So what was the name of Ronnie Barker's character in Porridge? Number four, complete the name of this 70s sitcom. Whatever happened to dot 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 dot. So complete the name of this 70s sitcom. Whatever happened to what? Uh, number five, Andrew Sachs played which character in 40 Towers? So Andrew Sachs played which character in 40 Towers? Number six, Baldrick, Lord Melchett, and Lord Percy Percy were all characters in which 80s comedy? So Baldrick, Lord Melchett, and Lord Percy Percy were all characters in which 80s comedy? Number seven, name the sitcom that became a nation's favourite starting in 1983 and saw a spin-off called The Green Green Grass. So name the sitcom that became a nation's favourite starting in 1983 and saw a spin-off called The Green Green Grass. Number eight, what was the name of the holiday camp in Heidi High? So what was the name of the holiday camp in Heidi High? Number nine, running for 12 episodes over two series in the 80s, name the sitcom starring Rick Mail and Aid Edmondson. So running for 12 episodes over two series in the 80s. Name the sitcom starring Rick Mail and Aid Edmondson. And finally for the 70s and 80s, number 10. Which long-running sitcom launched in 1988 had characters including Cat, Holly and Crichton? Which long-running sitcom launched in 1988 had characters including Cat, 
Holly and Crichton. So let's move on then to the 90s and beyond. And we start with number one. Uh, what was the name of the newsroom in Drop the Dead Donkey? So what was the name of the newsroom in Drop the Dead Donkey? Just checking something. <laughs> Number two, Rowan Atkinson played Inspector Fowler in which sitcom? So Rowan Atkinson played Inspector Fowler in which sitcom? Number three, Nicholas Lindhurst played a time traveling TV repairman in which sitcom? So Nicholas Lindhurst played a time traveling TV repairman in which sitcom? I'm trying to think of a word did that right. He was a time traveler, but in one, one era he was a TV repairman. He wasn't in the other era. I can't see too much, he'll give it away. Number four, what was the name of Dawn French's comedic vicar in The Vicar of Dibley? What was the name of Dawn French's comedic vicar in The Vicar of Dibley? Number five, and a point for each of these, what were the names of Neil Morrissey and Martin Clune's characters in Men Behaving Badly? So a point for each of those. What were the names of Neil Morrissey and Martin Clune's characters in Men Behaving Badly? Uh, number six, and you need both of these for the point. Which two comedians wrote Gavin and Stacey? So which two comedians wrote Gavin and Stacey? You need both of those to get the point. Number seven, Roy, Moss and Jen were the lead characters in which Channel 4 comedy? Roy, Moss and Jen were the lead characters in which Channel 4 comedy? Number 8. When Janet Met Johnny was a musical episode in which TV comedy? Brilliant as well. So when Janet Met Johnny was a musical episode in which TV comedy? I think it was mainly on BBC Three. Number nine, what was the name of the three children in Outnumbered? Uh, I'll give you a point for each. So what was the name of the three children in Outnumbered? And finally, number 10, Polly, Pamela, Alan, Terry and Kevin were the parents' names in which comedy from E4? So Polly, Pamela, Alan, Terry and Kevin were the parents' names in which comedy from E4? Okay, so that is your 20 questions on your UK TV sitcoms for today. So you know the drill if, you're, um, if you've been with us before, if you're new, this is the moment right now that you can pause the video now. And welcome back. And so hopefully you've got your answers together. Let's give you those 20 answers that you need. Well, there's a few more, but let's give you the answers you need. So we started with the 70s and 80s, number one, starring Penelope, Penelope, Keith and Felicity Kendall. Name the TV comedy that ran for three years between 1975 and 1978. It was The Good Life. 
Number two, and I'm not going to attempt to do the accent again, but Ooh Betty uh, was a catchphrase in which 70s sitcom. Uh, some mothers do have them. Number three, what was the name of Ronnie Barker's character in Porridge? It was Norman Stanley Fletcher. Number four, complete the name of this 70s sitcom. Whatever happened to the likely lads? Uh, number five, Andrew Sachs played which character in 40 Towers? Was of course Manuel. Number six, Baldrick, Lord Melchett and Lord Percy Percy were all characters in Blackadder. Number seven, name the sitcom that became a nation favourite starting in 1983 and saw a spin-off called The Green Green Grass. It was Only Fools and Horses. Number eight, what was the name of the holiday camp in Heidi High? It was Maplins. Number nine, running for 12 episodes over two series in the 80s. Name the sitcom starring Rick Mail and Aid Edmondson. It was, of course, The Young Ones. And finally, for your first section, number 10, which long-running sitcom launched in 1988 had characters including Cat, Holly and Crichton? It was Red Dwarf. And on into the 90s, what was the name of the newsroom in Drop the Dead Donkey? It was Globe Link News. Number two, Rowan Atkinson played Inspector Fowler in which sitcom? It was The Thin Blue Line. Number three, Nicholas Lindhurst played a time-travelling TV repairman in which sitcom? It was Good Night, Sweetheart. Number four, what was the name of Dawn French's comedic vicar in The Vicar of Dibley? It was, of course, Geraldine. Number five, what were the names of Neil Morrissey and Martin Clune's characters in Men Behaving Badly? It was Gary and Tony. Number six, which two comedians wrote Gavin and Stacey? It was James Corden and Ruth Jones. Number seven, Roy, Moss and Jen were lead characters in which Channel 4 comedy? Uh, it's the IT crowd. Number eight, When Janet Met Johnny was a musical episode in which TV comedy? It was of course Two Pints of Lager and a Packet of Crisps. It's underrated, I think, that show. Uh, number nine, what was the name of the three children in Outnumbered? So you had Jake... Ben and Karen. And finally, number 10, Polly, Pamela, Alan, Terry and Kevin were the parents' names in which comedy from E4? It was The Inbetweeners. Yeah. Uh, uh, you probably sit there scratching your head. I wasn't sure. I knew one of them, but uh, yeah. So question five, it was a point for each. Uh, you needed both of them for the point on question six and three points. So a point each for number nine, the name of the uh, children in Outnumbered. So that is, oh, wants me to do that. Right. So how have you got on? Uh, how have you got on? Let us know on uh, Facebook and Instagram, all of the, that way, there. <laughs> all of the social media links and our hashtag are just coming up there on the screen now uh, let us know how you got on we love to see how you've got on uh, both myself and Alex um, yeah so let us know what you scored a bit trickier I think uh, today um, with a specialist quiz but I wanted to make sure that we catered for, for everyone who may have been around for the uh, sitcoms in the 70s and 80s as well as people for the 90s and the 2000s and there's great scope as well there's loads and loads and loads of great British sitcoms that I've not included in this list so you know things like Birds of a Feather and stuff like that so you know well that was just the first one that came to me there are loads more so yeah we'll, uh, we'll obviously revisit this subject as we will do with a lot that have already gone by so far 
Thank you very much for your support and your messages and everything. As always, it means the world to us, reading those and seeing how you're getting on and where you're playing the quiz and everything. So thank you very much, as always. And if I don't see you before, I see you on the next one of these, which will go out on Sunday with US TV sitcoms and those imports to us. Take care, stay safe, see you soon.